I have perfect pitch. If I could go back in time and concentrate on what would be the best occupation, field, whatnot to get into, it would be music. Learning all that rote stuff with notes, chords, and what's allowed and what isn't, that ruined it for me. They said I had the perfect sound off of the baritone horn. I was a camp bugler for a number of years. I got stymied around improvising. It was too much. The last bit of music I worked on was in college, freshman year. I took some music classes to um, pad the GPA, the grades. You do that your freshman year. You take classes you already know that you did in high school. So I took some music. Language was forced. I had to take some credits on language. I did Spanish because I did that in high school. They made a student high school. When we're forced to do something, we're less likely to develop with it. So perfect pitch, what is it? It's simply the ability to hear the shape of sound. Music is the language of sound. The notes, the medium, the vehicle by which the sound is classified. So you got the basic uh, eight notes somehow. Or is it seven notes? Seven or eight notes there. You know, the do, re, mi, I forget that. Do, re, mi, I freaking might have forgot that scale song. The thing is, the scale is infinite. So you can go do the scale again. Do, re, mi, la, di, da. And then you go, oh. Then I can go do, re, mi, la. Oh, I can keep going. Then the voice just keeps going until it's, it's gone. It's too high pitched. Only the freaking dogs can hear it. Maybe cats have uh, special wiring for hearing sounds. So perfect pitch does apparently show up a lot more with the Aspies, people on the spectrum. I never liked my voice. I never, I assumed I could not sing. I still probably cannot sing. I think, though, with a bit of training, I could become a passable singer, which would show how rigged it all is. It's not who you are, but who you know. If anyone can become a great singer with some training, and if they have perfect pitch. Perfect pitch just means you can tell if something's in tune. It's probably why Aspies can get overwhelmed by sounds. I figured out this noise reduction thing. I'm able to take out the fan and the heat. Sounds mess with me so much that I usually have a fan running. It's called white noise. I think so. White noise. I don't know. There's brown noise. There are various noises. The thing that really held me back in this incarnation was the restrictions on thought, on format, I'm playing games, I'm marketing. There's something so utterly disgusting about the social structure. That's why I highly recommend Eric Fromm. You learn his vocabulary, it's difficult. Some of his books are much more difficult than the others, and vice versa. Some of them are a lot easier to rock. The anatomy of human destructiveness is fairly difficult. That's the area I got into. I was fairly good at studying social theory. There just weren't any jobs in Ireland. There are only so many colleges. I'm not saying I was great either. I was out of my element in a way. I wasn't Irish. Sure, I could have ended up living there. If this or that had happened. There's no guarantee I would have become a professor. I probably wouldn't have. If I had a guess... In Ireland, if I had stayed, I would have become a writer. But I didn't. There's no point in going back and replaying.